As a realtor, when you're working with investors and you're looking for rehab opportunities for them, every now and then they will ask you as the expert to maybe help them out in some decision making as to what they should repair or not. So today I'm actually going to talk about three things that I do when I get asked to go out there for my investor clients. And these are the three, three things that I apply with every one of them. Number one is look at the neighborhood. And this is, uh, I just did this because we, every few months we do a tour, like a little bus tour. And we, I had 20 investors on this bus and I came as the realtor expert. And the goal for the investors was to practice their repair estimate on the property. So I found two properties that needed work. The investors were walking through the property and they were determining the cost, right? And one of the questions was like, well, should we replace the windows here? And I was like, well, let's go outside and see what everyone else is doing. All right, do they all have vinyl windows, everyone? Or maybe you see that it's a mix. And if your aluminum windows look good, you might wanna keep it if there's, the neighbors have them too, right? Because it's no longer an eyesore. Another question could be like, well, do I put gutters? I'm like, well, we're in San Diego. It doesn't rain much, well, Maybe not recently, it's been raining, but there's a, a lot of houses with no gutters. And what do you think my answer was? I was like, well, let's go outside. Let's take a look. Are, the, are there gutters on every house? And again, that should dictate what you should do in your property. So little by little, we're able to determine what is a definite and what is a maybe and what is a no, right? Which ultimately could save them money on repair. Some other items, on that list, uh, that are common are AC, air conditioner, right? Is, do other houses have air conditioner? Do you need to put it? Check on that. Um, another one would be fencing. Like, is that really important? Does everyone have, especially in the front, some people like to have fences and some neighborhoods, literally everyone has a fence in the front. So you might want to consider putting that. But if no one else has it, then don't do it. Save some money for your, uh, for your rehabber, right? And then, uh, Pool. Pool is a big one, right? San Diego, in most places, people love pools. But in other states, pools are actually not that beneficial. So they might ask you as the realtor, like, okay, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Especially when the pool needs a lot of work, right? You might actually be like, well, guess what? People don't want them here. It's actually a pain in the butt to maintain. It's expensive. You know, people only use them for a few months. It's actually not a good thing. So fill in the pool. Right, so that might be cheaper potentially than rehabbing it or replacing it or renovating it fully. So those those are some of the things that you as a realtor could bring to the table just by being the neighborhood expert and looking around. Right, then number two, number two is advise them on the appropriate finishes. And what do I mean by this? Uh, very common uh, with especially newer investors is maybe they have a very high-end taste and they start putting high-end taste into their just your no normal first-time home by your neighborhood which they will appreciate it the high-end finishes right the, the buyer but they will not pay you extra for it right so that's something to remember and advise the rehabber on uh, but then it's the flip side I've seen some of my investor clients actually do the opposite. They use the first time home buyer neighborhood finishes in a high end market, right? And it's so easy to point that out for the people walking through because people that buy luxury homes and high end homes, they look at that. They look at the brands, they look at everything. So just be mindful of that and suggest that, right? Suggest that to, to the investors that you're working with. Number three is give your expert just advice on what is really going on in the market trends. And what I mean by that? Well, for example, in San Diego right now, what's been the trend is bright colors. White and light gray are really in. And I'm talking about kitchen cabinets are white countertops are white with maybe like light grayish uh, accent, right? Light floors, right? I mean, people right now, they, they like 
just airy and white type of finishes, right? Because it, number one, it makes the room look bigger, uh, any room. Uh, and two, that's just what's in right now. That wasn't always the case, but if you're the realtor and you're doing a lot of business in these type of neighborhoods, you're going to see those trends. So recommend that, recommend that to the investor that you're working with. So they don't put in something that's been completely outdated by today, right? So help them out because in return, that will help you sell that property for top dollar. If you're the realtor selling that property which I hope you are if you're out there giving them all this advice. And that's how you create a win-win. Analyzing a property before you buy it is obviously very important. However, what I find that most people just do it wrong. And I, I know that that alone, one mistake could cost you ten, tens and thousands of dollars. It could literally cost you your business. And I don't want that to happen to you. So I created a step-by-step -step property analysis guide sheet to walk you through exactly what to look for to make sure your deal that you're looking at is worth buying. To get the property analysis guide sheet, just go to randyzimnock.com.